What's up, guys? <laughs> it's uh, Monday, October 23rd. It's been a while. Uh, about two weeks since uh, the crash or whatever. I'm finally on my car again. They haven't finished fixing. I don't know if you can see. There's like tape on the window. Uh, apparently, when they when they broke in the car, they broke like a switch as well on the window. So like if you're if you're trying to um, so like put the window up or whatever, it doesn't work. Um, it, it just like yeah, it doesn't work. Like it's not connected to the thing. So. They ordered the part. The reason I have the car is because he's like, yeah, this is going to drive. It's going to take like one or two more weeks. Um, you want to just take the car? Like, it's still drivable and stuff. So I was like, yeah, let me just take it. I need it. Um, so I've been uh, working and stuff now again for like three days. I just haven't been making the videos. Uh, <laughs> I think I watched the last video that I uploaded uh, before the car crash. And it's just about protecting my momentum, right? And I did not do that at all. I don't know why. I think it was just too much in regards to... It was too much of a change from what um, I had been accustomed to, I guess. And we were cooking. Uh, but um, I guess not so much anymore. I, I think the biggest hit was financial. I stayed... Uh, today, I, I waited at 247. I forgot what it was that I was at. I think 242 was the lowest I had gotten um, before the car crash. And so it was, it was a gain of five pounds, which is like not, I don't think it's horrible. I think it could have been way worse. I think it would have been like really bad if I got over 250 again, because then you have to break that barrier once again. But I stayed within the 240s. I try to work out as much as possible. I mean, I was active. I was, I was playing soccer. Um, I was playing soccer and try to work out at home that first week i was decent because the first week i was like oh, i was only gonna take a week but once i heard it could take two to three weeks i don't know i lost like uh hope i guess i lost hope and i was uh i don't know it gets hard doing everything at home lucky just being stuck at home all day is not for me it's not for my brain i have to like be going out being on the move um yeah so i guess we're kind of restarting it was funny uh, uh one day i just stayed up to like 3 a.m doing uh uh, Reconquista of the Reconquista prep uh, <laughs> So just try to get back to like where we were before um, I mean before the crash It's been so long I didn't even know I didn't notice it's been almost two weeks Almost three <sighs> I feel weird recording this I forgot how to like do the face cams Or whatever I feel like uh, I don't know I was more fluid before It's been two weeks I've done it I'm nervous going to the gym today. Um, I don't know. I just feel nervous. Like, I haven't been there in a while. So, it's just like, uh, it's almost like, oh, I'm encountering something new again. Um, and then I feel like everything's going to change regarding what we're doing before. If there's one good thing that came out of the crash, is that... Uh, oh, but was I cooking before the crash? I don't even know. But... I, I was able to reflect on what I had been doing and I feel like I just been going at it so slow like I hadn't actually been going crazy about it um and I haven't been working on things that I want to be working on which is I guess the same old case of always right so I think like the two there's three main focuses right which I've always said there's been um like soccer uh the training and the music which I will be focusing on, but I think I'm gonna take a little step back with the music. That it's because I, I I like to do it. I really do like to do it, but it's just more like a hobby. Um, Career-wise, if I like want to make something out of myself, or like I really want to do, I think I should just focus on the trading and um, on the trading and the soccer. So that's mostly what I'll be doing these next couple weeks. And I think it's it's the smart thing to do. Like at this time, what the hell is going on with this traffic? Also, I, f I feel like I forgot how to drive too. Like, <laughs> like I, I feel like I had a little more instinct like two weeks ago. Now everything just feels so like fast. It's crazy, right? Like you don't, 
the, that's what I noticed too. If you don't do something like every day, you like you like lose it. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe that's a, that's why you gotta like practice every day and stuff. You know. Like, um, I think I've had we had this conversation before. I wanted more in depth last night, but that's just things I've noticed. Uh, for today, I had a very simple schedule, which is uh, wake up, go to the gym at like 8 a.m. It's currently 11 a.m., so we know how that's going. Um, it's been so weird. Also, my sleep schedule, my sleep schedule is so completely fucked. Um, see, now I'm noticing I say um a lot during recordings. I don't think I used to say that before. I'm back to back to square one. But um, like my le- my sleep schedule is, is seriously like lacking. What I've noticed is that since I had like no fucking purpose the last two weeks, I, which I should have, it's just oh, I I think. I think we've seen throughout my videos is that I need structure. Uh, so when I miss that structure, when that structure is taken away from me, when I'm not able to do what I had planned to do, it really messes with my mind and it really gets me on a, on a zone of like not working, if that makes sense. Which is bad, I know, but it's also like, I think I, I have seen how fragile like the whole system is. So I, I really need to like almost like having an emergency fund is like what other people say, but also having an emergency plan. Where, where if all fails, I have no card or nothing. This is this is the next steps. Because I feel like I try to figure that out the first couple of days, and I was like, oh, it's not really working. Like I don't know, I feel weird. And then being stuck at home all day, I was like actually going insane. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, what's going on? You're there at home all day, same walls. And I was picking up more injuries, not doing anything than actually like playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, or training, like you go to the gym, you know, you're sore or whatever, but you're not hurt. I felt hurt at home. Cause I was just like, yeah, I was sitting down like all the fucking day. My back was hurting. I should have gone on walks, but it started getting cold and that was my excuse. I was coping hella hard. I was coping there. I was like, oh, it's cold. I don't want to go to walk. Um, but there's like, I mean, the times I had to go to the mechanic, I had to walk sometimes because the car's over there. I had fun. I was like, oh, look at the bear. Like, I don't know. Like, I was just like, I was taking a walk. But man, like, I, I, if there's some things I've learned through this whole thing is one, I'm a man of structure. I need structure. And I think like one day out of the week, I just need to like not have structure. Usually Saturdays. But, uh,. Structure provides like progression for me, so I know I need to have it in my life. And I think we're back today. Today I'm gonna hit the gym. We're doing uh, I think pull, pull Mondays. I ain't forgot. It's been that long. Um, I'm going a little lighter weights because I don't want to mess up my elbow. I'm not elbow. What the fuck am I talking about? My shoulder. It's been fine actually. And then um. Now I'm going to go play soccer An hour or two I don't really know what I'm doing Because I have to practice alone But I'll, I'll just try to uh, I don't know Cook something up Oh And I didn't record I didn't get to record yesterday's game On Sunday uh, We lost 5-2 uh, It was a tough game That I think we could have won Fuck like Without the footage It's really hard to explain I think we played a decent game There is a couple struggles in regards to, I, I believe it was like the progression of the ball. Like when you keep it from the, when, you, when you're starting on the back and, you, and you're trying to progress it through the field. I think we have a lot of problems. Like we, our goals tend to be from uh, losing the ball in the back. And I think we're just playing way too high when the ball is in our side. I think on the first video, there might be some, some of that. But it's, it was way more even. This team was good, but I think we could have beat them, and we should have beat them. But um, we're starting off the season a little rough, like always. I think we'll pick up. We're missing a few key, uh, key players, so once they're back up and healthy, I think, well, I think we'll be cooking. Um, that's pretty much going to be it. And then I'm going to go to work, try to get a – I'll explain that later, I guess. Um, my editing skills got better though. I had to do a lot of editing stuff during the, the break. I had ties, so I was like, oh, I'll cut this, put some music there. 
uh the workouts also seem to be a little lower these videos are probably gonna get uh less uh like i was gonna say expensive that's not the right word uh, like lengthier like long they're not gonna be as long like a decent amount of time uh, brown brown was saying that some of these are way too long I was just like, no, oh, I mean, but that's like the style of what I'm trying to do. But he's like, yeah, but nah. <laughs> he's like, I'm not trying to watch all that shit. So I'll probably make these a little shorter, get to the point a little faster. Um, these waffle sessions are probably going to stay like this. But some of the times when I'm working out and stuff like that, I don't think uh, people need to see me bouncing around for like fucking 10, 15 minutes. I'm not talking. So I'll speed that up. There, there are places where you can cut time. But I'm here at the gym, a little nervous. Let's get to it. I feel like the tummy aches when you when you're gonna play go sub, play soccer again. Uh, first game, I was nervous as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, fuck. It always happens to me like the first couple games. Then deep in the season, you're like, ah, right, let's go play. Um, that's why I got the little the little butterflies. I don't even know why. What the fuck? I'll I'll be stopping doing the the four 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 cardio because I'll just be going to the park every day. Uh, and, and you know burn those calories there hopefully i think i will i don't think it takes that expensive right or, or like calories wise i think i can burn four or five hundred i want to get a like those those rings to like cover your uh your heart you're like i don't know if they're good i don't know if they're actually like accurate so i don't know but i'll probably talk to you guys later i'm gonna go to the gym right now work out come back what the fuck are you doing guy did I Yui? Ah, see you guys. What's up, guys? Uh, it's the end of the October 24th. This is uh, Tuesday. Um, driving the highway. I'm about to go pick up uh, Brian. Finish his shift. Just got a little update for today. I've been slagging on these videos, which is not a good thing. I feel like I was cooking before, and I hadn't stopped one single day, and I was uploading every day. Uh, I kind of, like just developed the habit of not doing that so i have to pick it back up again but uh overall today i want to go play soccer the the reason i don't have any film was i found an old friend there i had something very interesting happen to me today honestly um this old friend i hadn't seen him since 2014 uh so i didn't see him in a couple years it's almost what I mean, it's almost 10 years. So I haven't seen him in a while. And today we talked and we just reconnected. It was a very good conversation. Uh, we were kind of like uh, going through the same things. Uh, and he was able to give me his perspective on things. And it was a very interesting conversation. And he, he just magically decided to go play soccer that day. And as you guys know, I have been trying. But I just I got the courage to go today by myself and just train. Um, and yeah, luckily uh, he was there. We were able to have a, a, a very good, good conversation. And I just think it was uh, it was very religious as well. Um, it almost makes you think, right? It makes you wonder. Like it almost, I was thinking, like, damn, we were talking about it. Like, damn, maybe even God, like, you know, made this conversation happen. I hadn't seen him in years, and I mean, all the problems he was having sounded very similar to mine, and. It's, it, I think it's good to share because, one, everybody comes from different backgrounds. Everybody is, everybody is has a unique um, sort of life, right? Their soul. Uh, no matter where you are, where you come from, you have a, a, a unique life. Everything you've experienced, you've experienced through your own eyes and, and through your own brain, your own feelings, your own intuitions. So it, it's unique in that sense. But I feel like a lot of people have the same type of problems. Like, a lot of people go through the same exact things. We're not that very unique in that sense. A lot of people go through money problems, uh, through heartbreaks and things like that. And I think that, that you can use that to unite people because a lot of the times uh, people have encountered these certain problems and they fixed it a certain way. So even though and, and they fixed it maybe because of a different point of view, a different way of thinking, a different way of action. And that's what we're talking about today. And it was very similar problems that we were having and very different solutions. So I found that quite interesting. We're talking for a very long time. It was a very good conversation. 
Um, overall, so it was very healthy, and and we were just talking about the way that um, well, well, a big topic of today's discussion or, or a conversation we had was was almost like how not revenge, but like regressing and always thinking of the past and always trying to almost replicate uh, someone or a way that you were in the past. It's almost like counterintuitive of what you're supposed to be doing because if you're always trying to go back at something, you'll never be able to achieve it and you'll always get stuck on, on like trying to become that person that you were. I think the... the the best thing that, that you can do is, is try to evolve, to use the, the new experiences that you've gathered and, and to know where you want to go and where you're heading and use that to your advantage. These whole new experiences, um, good things and bad, and try to try to head somewhere with it. And um, I was telling them, I was very embarrassed. I know it's, it's almost time. <laughs> it's almost funny, right? Because I... Sh- I've told him, uh, you know, the, you guys what I want to do with my life and the goals that I'm pursuing. But to say it to someone in in, uh, in person, it's it's kind of weird. Uh, the only person I've really talked to about this is Brian. And it's kind of weird sharing with someone else. But, I mean, um, it's... That's why I think it's almost... I don't want to say divine. I think it's weird to... It's almost, almost like, a, like a good coincidence... Um, he had similar dreams, not, not re- like not at all what I'm doing, but you could relate to them. You could see, you you could see like, oh, that's kind of like this, that's kind of like this, kind of like this, and I think it was just a very positive like uh, affirmations for one another. Like, oh, like you should pursue this. Like, it sounds, it, it's just a, a very similar way of thinking, and I feel. That when when people are with other people who think similar than you, and who care about the same thing as you, and who want to make it, because not everybody does. Some people just want to, you know, um, you know, live, get out nine to five, which is not a bad thing, and just work, and then just enjoy things on the weekend. And I think there's not a lot of people that that want to reach a certain level of of like money and prosperity and all those things. But when you find people with your similar way of thinking, something just clicks and you're able to really relate to what the other person is saying. And I don't know, we were cooking today and like it really motivated me um, to just like, you know, let go of, of, of trying to be who you were before. It's a big thing for me because I feel like uh, uh, there's a certain aura that I want to um, sort of recuperate from when I was younger from you know where I had my head right and my my you know I had my mission and everything before girls got involved and I gotta I gotta just realize that I'll never truly get back to that point not aura wise but like just like mentality wise and stuff like that because I've, I've just experienced different things so I'll never think that way but it doesn't mean I, I can't um it doesn't mean I can't be better it just means I can't get to that point again because there's too much like lore, I guess, too much, too much experience that has happened. Um, but yeah, you gotta evolve. And oh man, I found a really good quote too. It was like, it, this is actually very commonly used. I think it's like if if you want to be someone who you've never been, you have to do things that you've never done. And I don't. While I think I've made progress towards that, I think I could make even greater progress and do things that even are more out of my comfort zone and just, like, actually go for these things. Um, But, yeah, overall, that was today. I will try to get these dailies, uh, these daily videos out more, and I will try to be more proactive. Um, I kind of haven't been watching any sort of media in regards, I forgot where I heard this, but I was watching a video this weekend, and they were talking about how 
um, every time you like watch a video or listen to music, there's really no time for your mind. I think it was circa. There's really no time for your mind to think. Like um, your thoughts are being generated by why what you're interfering with and what uh, you're putting your time in. So if you're constantly in in like a case of consumption, you're never really thinking. And you're always letting what you watch and what you hear override your brain. Like you have no original thoughts and, and you're you're not having the ability to like to critical think. You're just flowing through the motions. And that's why people get stuck, I believe. So I haven't really been on that. And that's why I haven't been even recording either, because I actually just been trying to work. And then the thing on my mind is like they're like, oh, when you tell somebody that you're gonna do something, most likely you won't do it. <laughs> that's been on my mind because that's all I've been doing in these videos. I'm like, fuck. So do I stop doing the videos? And then, and then, but I was like, no. Why don't, how about you just actually just do the thing you're saying you're gonna do? Like, well, are you dumb? Like, so I do. I would just do that. The videos are really fun to make, and they do keep me um, accountable. Um, t- so. That's what I'll be doing. Um, I don't know what's going on this highway. I'm gonna turn to Google Maps, but that's pretty much just for Tuesday today. Uh, I'm trying. Oh, I'm gonna try to increase the production value of these videos. So stay tuned to that. We're coming back. We're doing the Reconquista, the Reconquista. So <laughs> let's try to get back to normal, and let's try to get these videos going again. Um, let's do it. <laughs>